seconds ago. The grand final's about to start. The Crows for the first time, and the Saints for the first time in 26 years. Jarman got his hand on it. Ring started in the centre square for the Crows. Burke will get the first kick of the match. Out wide to Lappin, he's got it. What a way to start for Lappin to get his hands on it. McLeod's on him. Inside 50, low for target. Did he get a push? No. Pittman is on low. Johnson, the only teenager out there. Back to Hart. What a game he played last week. Gets to Bond. He's got him. Bond's on centre wing. Has a look down towards right half forward. And Robram, one of the key players for the Crows, marks a long way from home. He's in front of Wakeland. Robram looks down towards centre half forward. Still a long way out. Jamie Shanahan uses strength. Gets it away to Hudson. Maxie Hudson's in trouble. They almost concede a behind. They take it over for the first score. That was by Rodney Keogh. It's a behind for the Adelaide Pro. He's been a very consistent performer for St Kilda. Has not missed a game this year. Comes short. That's OK. Finds Daniels, but can't hold it. Spills it over the line. The sun is shining so brightly. Pickett straight down the centre. Good kick, but it was cut off by Wren. Here's a chance. Jarman to finish. Drills. Hits the post. Hands on head. Can't believe it. I think the kick-in should go wide early. Players are very tense. You go up the centre corridor, as Pickett did then. If it's not a real precise kick, well, a goal-scoring opportunity results to the opposition. This time he eludes Allen for the moment, but eventually gets caught on the second attempt. A nervous start. A fierce tackle by Costa. It spills back to Peckett. Justin Peckett runs in towards the middle. McLeod has been one of the four players of this final series. He can send something up for Robin down right half forward. Now Jarman, who will have another shot. Starts it right and it stays right. Another behind. Not seven last week, seen in the opening turn. Not four this week. Pittman using his body, looking to run onto the ball. Burke's in there. Burke, a wonderful record against the Crows. As has this man, Harvey, in short. Hall, sweeping hand pass. Burke again. Burke pulls it back towards the middle. St Kilda in number. Cook and Lappin. McLeod, brilliant. Away comes Johnson. Good kick, two out wide. One of Jamison. He had to go hard. Excellent effort. He's win that. This would be justice if he could go. He misses. No major surprises to start this game. Wren again slaps it. Thompson tries to drive through, but he's claimed by Hart. It finishes with Burke off to Lappin. He's made a positive start. Back to Burke again. Tumbles a putt down towards the half forward line. Pittman's got to sit and wait. Maybe Winmar will get another chance. Lowe uses absolute strength. He gives it to Heatley. He shoots for goal. And the same is on the ball. First for the day. Great start again today. Here's Jarman. Out of Woods, half forward, getting back there is Jones. He's at right half back. The MCG is still throbbing around the outer side. Jones, a high ball, fall in from the side almost. Down in front, Harvey gathers it, pops, feeds the hand pass across. This is Keo, very left sided, back to the middle. Paul can take it and break. Paul, 60 metres out, spears the pass. And Heatley's got it about 40 metres out. He's a sharp shooter. Remarkable story. Three games for the West Coast Eagles. 71 goals this season. Heatley, normally so good. It's close. It's bending back. He likes it. Saints by nine points. Heatley with two goals. Fancy the Crow starting Ellen at the other end. He hasn't kicked a goal all season. That surely hasn't happened in a grand final before. Costa to him, and he's got it. Speak of him, he presents himself and takes a mark. Has not kicked one goal in nine matches this year. Having said that, he's got a shot from 35 metres to uh, put the Crows on the board. Three career goals in 38 games. It's good. It's through. It's four now. Well, if somebody wanted to bet you who would kick the first goal of the match, you'd say Heatley. But if someone wanted to bet you to be Ellen the first for the Crows, you'd take their money. But he did get it. Taking plenty of time. High one towards half back. Cook's in front. Pittman reaches over the top. Johnson couldn't control it. Cook, well played, knocks at Goldwood. McLeod deflected it. This is Hart. Hart at right half back, stumbles, still he goes. 
around in his circle, boots it up towards the wing, Burke taking no prisoner, sends it back in, it bounces very high, Jamison knocked away by Headley, taken by Thompson, Harvey, some magic Harvey, almost got through, Lappin taken front on, down he goes, Jarman got him, whistle, and I think it will be a ball up, and now the game is really on. And half board for St Kilda on this overcast day, but really quite perfect. Whitmar steals it. He's held. Play up was the call. Now there's been a whistle. We'll come back for push. And it will go in the way of St Kilda. And it'll be taken. And it's time. Sandy and a 50 metre penalty for not delivering the ball back on the fourth. So um, double whammy there against the Crows. That's the free kick there for pushing the back. Clearly propelled forward in the tackle. We won't see that. Here we see the ball going back. And that's. Uh, that ball is touched. It's one behind. Boundary throw in, Ren at the back. Bond pushed off with Mike Pickett. Back to him was good. Claim but gets his kick in. Important ball here. McLeod's after it hard. He could score. No, he goes short. Wide. Bond's got it. 45 metres out. Tight angle. He kicked a couple of goals late in that match. He's the leading goal scorer for the Crows in the finals this season. And that's a good kick. It's right there. Close. Very ah. close. Is it a goal? I think it is. What a goal. Just what the Crows needed. A sensational kick. Scores a level. Let's kick out. Finishes on centre wing with Kane Johnson once again. The youngster hands it away to Goodwin, who looks in towards centre half forward for the Crows. He eludes a couple at the back is Allen. A nice little twist and turn. Cobbles up. He's taken high. It'll come back. And he'll get another shot at goal directly in front. 35 metres out. Yes, it was. I don't think anyone really picked that one. And just a high tackle, as we saw there from Jason Daniels. And straight. The Crows are again in front. Ellen has his second. Well, yes, Andrew McLeod is the big column for St Kilda at the moment. He's had seven possessions off half back. Saints making a change with Rodney Keogh coming onto the ground. Robin's doing the ruck work. Here's an opportunity for Ellen. Again, into the woodwork. Three of them. It appears to be an injury. News on that shortly. Meantime, Burke has been everywhere. Eight possessions. He averages 29 over the past three seasons against the Crows. Harvey out wide. Jones is running. And that's danger for the Crows. Costa in pursuit. Jones, the length of the ground, nearly. 60 out. Will he take them all on? Handle inside to Thompson. A fumble. Back. Ozzy Jones goes with the left, kicks it, and gets it! What a goal! <laughs> well, they'll talk about that one for a while. Harvey set up Jones. Well, then Jones just covered, carried it. Some fantastic shepherds. Here we see he went a bit too far. Over to Thompson. Back to Jones. Left foot. Beautiful carry. Beautiful finish the top to Harvey. Harvey from half back. Ohio one up towards the wing. They queue up the Crows. Wren's got it. Another five seconds though. Sean Wren on the siren. Quarter time in the grand final. Great start. And the Crows lead by two points over the Saints. It was a magnificent opening quarter by both teams. The ball spills free towards Kane Johnson. Back he goes to Wren. Puts them inside 50 once again. An effective spoil by Peckett. Pushed forward dangerously towards Stephen Zilla. Zilla gives it away to Shanahan. And he comes wide towards the halfback flank. Peckett is running hard. Didn't break stride. He's away. Right half back. Justin Peckett running up towards the wing. He's run about 60 metres. Told to go on, draws him in, pops it over the top, Keogh goes back inside the hall, Ball can run to 50 and unload, this will bring the roof off, magnificent, the length of the ground. Cook and Wren. Cook's been pretty good in the centre bounces particularly. Wren's also had a fair bit of it. Wren pushes out Harvey. He's got it. Johnson's got Harvey. Still manages to get a handball. Heatley couldn't break the Jarman tackle. Thompson tries to get through. Connell's there. Heatley also works for handball by Harvey to Winmar. Winmar to Hall. It's got him. He's been good. Big Barry has. 
Harvey's ability then just to win the ball in what was a real 50-50 competition and get it to Winmar. Can Barry kick his second in two minutes? It looks good. It's a beauty. Barry Hall has kicked two goals to start the second quarter. And the Saints lead 5-6 to 3-8. Certainly Adelaide aren't dominating the ruck work in the centre square, which was one of their big hopes pre-match. Still in the middle. No one able to take it cleanly. Keo to Burke, almost taken high. Wren butters up. Burke may get another chance. So too Keo. Rodney Keo from 48 metres. Waddles it into full forward. Barry Hall again. Let's see what he does. The boy from Broadford started out his sporting life as a boxer. Now looking for his third goal in as many minutes. Runs round. Shoots. St Kilda fans like it. They love it. Barry Hall putting his stamp on this game. New Ruckman, Surikoski to the left, Kidding to the right. Up they go again. The Saints out of the middle. Keo to Thompson. Thompson inside the 50. Ball contest about 30 metres up. No contest. On the ground, Hickley on the test. Yes. Slight break in the Barry Hall show. Heatley, get back in from here. The poster. Well, the Crows had their share at this end. This is a hard football to win at the moment. Wakeland does the ruck work. Bond gets an opportunity, but he's claimed. Flipped in towards goal. Lovely looking tick two is going to be good. Goodwin. Simon Goodwin. Kicks the Crows in the race. His first in Adelaide's 4-4-8. Four, four, plays 6-7. Crows deep in attack. Just a couple behind, at the back, Robin, Goodwin, McLeod, well done by the Saints though. It was Burke, Edwards' a snap has missed. It's a behind. Good lead, they've consolidated here, the Crows. The Saints kicked three goals in six minutes at the start of the quarter. Adelaide have tightened it again. Hurried kick by Jarman, goes back towards centre wing. Difficult one as it bounces low, up towards right half forward. Charging his Crips. Claim, but gets his kick down oh. to half forward. And a beautiful fingertip mark, low down by Jarman. What a champion he is as he gives it to Costa. He runs through the centre, floats it up towards Ellen at half forward. Shanahan spoils. Shanahan recovers and defends towards the boundary line. Kept in play, however. Ellen sneaks away the hand pass. Edwards flicks to Bond. Well, delightful flick back into play after that ball appeared to be over the line. In the forward line, keep the ball alive. That's what that's all about. If it's in defence, let the ball run over. But in the forward line, keep it inside. And the Crows set it up from that. The Crows are pegging them back. Bond has his second. Keating, Heatley, Zurikowski takes it out of the air. Heatley taps back. Harvey, snapshot from Harvey. It's good. It's a goal. Robert Harvey pushed forward to have a spell. Gets a very important goal late in the second quarter. Still to rip it out of the middle once again, courtesy of Winmar. A high kick by Nicky Winmar up towards the 50. Tony Brown waits down. Somehow gets out of trouble. Kicks it high towards Barry Hall and Stuart Lowe. Going with the flight. Hall first to recover. Is this number four? Pulls it a little too far. One behind. This opens the door once again for Neil. In trouble. Pushes it away towards Daniels. On right half board. Hooks it inside 50. It's a kill to need a mark inside the last 30. Theo's in front. Very important kick for St Kilda. He's kicking from 55 and going for distance. He pulls it away to the right. So he adds it behind to the St Kilda scoreline at half time. Second half about to start. They call this quarter the one. The one that counts most. It's 7 11 to 5 10. Must be 95 to 96,000 here. In at the back. Burke. High ball. Doesn't gain any ground. Important one here. Wakeland and Robin. Well done by Bond. Free kick. Can kick a goal from here, Bond. Dangerous small forward. A must goal for the Crows. Close. 
Very close. He's got it. Listen to that roar. As the close come back, it's 6-10 to 7-11. Away he goes. Tyson Edwards takes it from James up towards the centre of the ground. An important one for Stephen Zilla and also Pickley. Through comes Shanahan and now Harvey. St Kilda go down towards Winmar. Still a long way out is Nicky Winmar. Following the tragic loss of his father some 24 hours ago, he spears it in towards half forward. This time, still at low. Arguably the safest pair of hands in the competition. Focus his attention on the mark that he has made on the ground in front of him and then begins his approach. An important kick for St Kilda from 40 metres out. A sensational kick. The Saints answer. Still low, gets his first. Saints fans. Delirious. Malcolm Dwight, who's been here before. The margin as it was at half time. 13 points. Cook, only as far as Goodwin. Johnson, nicely done. Releases Jarman running down towards half forward. Too high for Smart. Loose ball at the back. Renzel left it behind, plenty of Saints there, in goes Smart, Cripps comes away though, one bounce, running up towards half back, kicks towards the wing, they battle on the logo, Keo almost, in behind them is Pittman, picked up by Goodwin, good hand pass, away comes Costa, Costa down towards the 50, Rintoul's got it now, Rintoul is 60 metres out. Inclined to go for distance, long towards full forward. It bounces behind them. I don't think they touched it. Burt, co-captain with this man. Low brings it in towards Low. Sets himself. Crows, well done, Caven. Uh. Heatley missed it. Hardball, good handball on the up by the Crows, good one to James. James through the centre, drop mark by Johnson. Bickley's got hold of it towards Jarman. Shanahan with him, well done, Shanahan. Jarman could be dangerous, wanted a free kick, smart on to it. Good tackle, fantastic tackle by Hudson. And Shanahan's away and kicks the half back. Well, as we said, they call this the Premiership quarter, and at the moment, that's how it's unfolding. A sensational struggle. The Crows throwing absolutely everything at St Kilda as Neil leaves the ground and Lappin comes back on for the Saints. This is Matty Connell. Struggled early in the season to cement his regular spot oh. in the side. Courage by Keogh, but he couldn't take the mark. Tyson Edwards is 60 metres out. Chip short. That's OK. Finds James. It was that fantastic courage from Rod Keogh. Brett James is directly in front of goal, but 55 metres out. The long drop punt. There's no one at the back there for St Kilda. Shane Allen is going to have a shot to bring the Crows to within one point of St Kilda. Well, it's interesting. Allen is now playing on the half-back line against Rod Keogh, and he drifted forward, and Keogh might have just missed him. Shane Allen goals. Here come the Crows. Allen has three. All from that end of the ground. A point the difference in the grand final. Wren and Cook. Wren knocks it towards half forward. Daniels has been quiet to Burke who started so well. Blanketed off the boot, it spills to McLeod. A chance for the Crows now to grab the lead. He runs to 50. Oh. Gets it away to Connell. Met solidly by Wakeland. Down he went. It comes across from Daniels. Zilla sends it wide. Hudson's got it now. Hudson running around the outer side. A couple of bounces. He wants Costa. Costa comes to him. Now he pops it over the top to Jones. Jones executes. Not quite. Awkward half volley for Hall. In goes Peckett. Dragged down by Caven. Taken by Hall. Releases Harvey. Harvey slips away with those silky skills. Gets it across to Lappin. Lappin hard against the line. Pulls it back towards the middle. They come from all directions. And the young man, Goodwin, claims the mark. Spadwell releases Bond, runs a yard and then bounces. And then comes away and chips to Smart at 60. The Crows are playing brilliantly at the moment. Jarman in the pocket, kicks towards him, got him. Well, he can go back and put him in front just like he did last week. And look at Jarman, eyes on the ball, never eyes, it never varies. And jumps into it, can see the ball's in his line. Kicks for goal. They're in front. Jarman gets the first. 
for him today, and the Crows are making their move. They certainly are. This has been an interesting situation that they've done here. I've mentioned earlier in the quarter, Jarvin goes into the centre square, then comes back to full forward, and Shanahan takes him on the way through. But it's messing up the St Kilda matchups a little in midfield because Thompson, he takes Jarman, but then Jarman disappears. And at the moment, the confusion is working the Crows' way. Seven, footy's home ground. What a match. Costa from centre wing. High ball to half forward. Just sort of hoping here that someone can grab it. At the bottom, Rintoul. Quiet match. Kicked a goal in this corner. Held it up beautifully. Kicks to Ellen. The surprise back into the grand final. Now, he's a good kick. We know that. I'm not sure if he can kick 50 metres, though. He has kicked three goals today. The whole 36 players are in the Crows' attacking half. Big kick, this one. 52 metres out. He has kicked it magnificently. A stunning kick. What an unlikely hero. Shane Ellen has come from nowhere to kick four goals in this grand final. Grey skies getting a little darker overhead here at the MCG. A little darker at the moment for St Kilda, but still a long, long way to go. A big mark taken by Pittman. 65 metres out is David Pittman. Jarman, the danger man. Shanahan looks to hold him. Pittman kicks towards the forward zone. They need a mark at the back. Not going to be paid. Oh, the step. Peter Caven. Peter Caven. The man who came to the MCG as a child to sell the footy record has kicked the sensational goal. And the Adelaide Crows are 17 points up. Well, it's all coming from the aggressive ball getting of the Adelaide half-back line. Goodwin back there. Brett James has been very good. Caven is playing half-back as well. And like Allen, they're just getting forward. And all of a sudden, the Crows defence, the running power, and all of a sudden, St Kilda on the back foot. Caven from the back pocket. Gets it outside 50. Wants ran. Oh, oh the cloud takes a screamer to Johnson. Harvey to chase. Johnson in trouble. The Crows get out of it. James has been all right. Bangs at the half forward. Jarman in port. Oh. Beauty. Almost as good as McLeod. The consummate skills of McLeod and Jarman come to the fore. He goes for the goal. It's rolling and bounces the wrong way. Can Smart get there? Can he release a handball to Bond? Bond's in the pocket. Hutchinson's with him. The Saints can't afford a goal here. You don't want to be four down at three-quarter time period has come from a couple of unlikely players. Brett James playing halfback. He's had seven possessions. Goodwin playing as that floating halfback midfielder. He's had seven possessions. They've been the main catalyst for this Adelaide revival. Here comes Harvey. Through the centre comes the Brownlow medalist. Towards Harford. James got a hand to it. Couldn't take it cleanly. An opportunity now for Winmar. Nicky Winmar for goal. The Saints desperately need a lift. First. Now holds up. Hall. It goes in his direction. Caven and Hall. What a mark. Barry Hall. Strength. Put himself in the line of the ball. And he's very new. He's just 20 years of age. It's long, but it's not there. It hasn't made the distance. A mark will be handy. Harvey caught up. Beautiful hand pass. Low. Can't get it forward. Built it away by the Crows. They still haven't quite got it out. They do now. Edwards runs it to the line. And Robert Harvey's had 19 kicks, 10 handballs, 29 possessions, but has really had trouble really having as much influence on the game as a player with 29 possessions maybe should have. Low stands his ground. Ran over the top. Johnson defends towards James. Back to Johnson. They're defending well. Lappin a chance here. Lappin for goal! Oh. What drama. And here's a That's great it. shot of that. Yeah, it looked like uh, maybe Barry Hall didn't try hard enough to push his body back into Pittman. Hart has just two seconds to bring it back into play. Two seconds remaining for the corner. But what a set up now, Bruce. What a stage to start the final quarter of the 1997 season. Adelaide looking for its first ever.
The Saints was first since 66. Wren belts it forward. Crows an attack. Robin tries to give up the handball. Zilla gets a quick kick away. Back towards half forward. Keo important mark. Everything's important from here on in. Hall presents himself. Kicks towards him. Over the back. Bouncing ball. Barry Hall comes back. Can he get a leg on it? Caven gets back. It dribbles through in the end from behind. The Saints close. Cook to do the rat work with Wren. 42 v 52. Cook had front spot. Wren's superior height. Johnson through but lost it. Winmar goes over the top of Connell. Saints arguing for it. Harvey loses it. Connell again. Short kick. Only as far as Ozzy Jones. He's just forward of centre wing. Jones to send St Kilda inside 50. He wants Barry Hall. But look at that mark by Shane Allen. Coming over the back. Daniels back to Wren. Releases Connell. Connell's torpedo punt. Robin front spot. Good mark. Strong mark. He's got Wren tall and smart running past him. He's a long kick Robin. He centres the ball. McLeod could go all the way. He's a wonderful finisher. He's 52 metres out. Gives it all he's got. It's not the one. Jarman was short in the end. And Shanahan got back. An anti-climax after all of that. Jamie Shanahan finds Nathan Burke. This is Justin Peckett. Bouncing his way out of defence. Gets his kick just in time. Towards low. Can't hold the mark. Winmar in front of the pack. Beautifully smothered by David Pittman. Kicks the ball on centre wing. Mr. Pittman. Wren wins it again. Harvey's still running. We know that he'll keep running. Pass Goodwin up to half forward. But oh. no one at home. And Peter Caven takes the mark. Caven from half back. The Crows standing firm at the moment. Cripps has given away the free kick. Chad Rintoul is called to play on. He does for the Adelaide Crows. Rintoul from 60 metres. Tumbles a punt into full forward. Jarman. Oh. A free kick situation. That's just a lot of the game. And it's the hold of the jumper there, John, that umpire Brian Sheen has played. The only player on the ground to have played in a winning grand final side. That was when he was Hawthorne. He may do it again. Jarman goals. He's got three, and the Crows look further ahead. Uh, Heatley's only taken three, and they've been on the lead. The, the uh, Crows' defence, their ability to spoil and run, has just been terrific. Low brilliantly down to Burke. What a goal! What a goal! Classical. game just sees keep seesaw. Rintoul attacks hard, gave it up. Shanahan, the Saints trying to come back off the side of the boot. Keo's out there. He's a left footer. He's a long way from home. He kicks the ball inside 50. Wren gets back and he takes that run. It's been a double teaming effort a lot of times on Stuart Lowe but this is the spot that uh, St Kilda are falling down. He kicks in towards the centre. McLeod's got to stand his ground as Cripps came over the top. A chance for Harvey once again. St Kilda now challenging. And Sarakoski marks right on the 50. Incredible to think that these two sides, a third of the way through the season, were 13th and 15th on the ladder. They have given us a wonderful grand final. He goes right across the ground. The mark got taken by Keo. Connell should tidy up for the Crows. He defends and he goes to the outer side. Nine points the margin, it tumbles in towards full forward and Sirikoski again. One grab, it wasn't enough. Pressure now on the Crows defence as Caven comes away. Peter Caven is clear. He's on the wing, he goes to half forward. Costa, have a little bounce obligingly for him. He's paddling it out towards the boundary. 55 metres out, Jarman. Jarman is 20 metres out. How important is this kick? 83 plays 74. Jarman, his side in front, pinpoint accuracy, a clinical finish, he's got three. Just on the 50 for the Adelaide Crows, the Crips hand pass goes astray, they're not finding their mark at the moment, 
Goodwin's left footer goes down towards the half forward line once again. Daniels is under pressure from McLeod. McLeod has been sensational today. He's played every game this year, Andrew McLeod. This is the one he wants to remember for the rest of his life. Throw in with Rogren and Wakeland. Saints tired desperately. They try to stay into the game. Harvey leading by example. That one ricochets away over the line. Another throw in. Oh. Rogren in front. Harvey gives it away to Burke. Rogren and Wakeland. Back towards Jarman. Jarman! Yes! that was going to win this game as Darren Jarman's finishing. Either way now, the dream has only just over 11 minutes to run. There's Brown. Zilla unloads. Winmar's in front. Wren playing his heart out. In from the side. Feeds it wide. Great shepherd off the ball. Put some space for Allen. Alongside the centre circle. Unloads. Smurf from behind. Open goal. Five for the half. Jarman. That's what Jarman's got for the Billy Shannon jump, and the ball came to the ground. Hayden Kennedy, Brian Sheen, and Martin Ash running today. It's been a magnificent final. It's not over yet. Winmar's kick high. Inside 50. Burke underneath it. High fly from the Saints. They need somebody to pull some magic from nowhere. Thompson could pick a kick a goal. High ball. Good kick right there. Crows have got numbers. It's through. It's a goal. Maybe that was the run coming from the back pocket. Quickly back on the ground. The margin, 21 points. The Crows in front. Just over eight minutes remaining in the game. Knocked down the Saints way. McLeod, though, who's been wonderful, pumps it back in. Jarman almost. It fell in front. Rintoul. The Crows lead in all directions. Ellen gets another goal. His fifth. grand final and three goals from the half back line in the second half Ozzy, who kicked a sensational goal late in the first quarter he turns 21 tomorrow kicks it to low good kick the space as Jared talked about earlier today and they provided it again and not too dramatic to say he must kick this for the Saints to win he's missed it well, it was a big kick at a big time. And amazing, isn't it? Rashudo and Modra, over the last summer, they would have been regarded as two of their best handful of players, and they've lost them both injured as the season progressed. Here's Keogh, in towards half forward, but Caven again floats across the pack. Heatley snaps towards goal. The Saints continue to cling to some hope. Heatley kicks his third after two in the first quarter. The attendance today in excess of 98,000. 98,045. McLeod inside the 50. No margin for error now for the Saints. Daniels throws it on the boot. Wren tries to take a mark at centre wing. Crashing through Bickley. McLeod tries to... Oh, it does it magnificently. To Costa. The handball out wide. Gets to Connell. Connell inside 50. Belts it towards full forward. Jarman there. With him was Zilla. Jarman again. Round the body. That'll do. Oh! That will do. Oh, unbelievable, Darren. He has played a game and a half. And they are home. Five goals for the quarter so far to Darren Jarman. Maybe he hasn't finished yet. Cook gives it to Burke. Burke pumps it long to half forward for St Kilda. The Crow defence has stood up today. Winmar beaten. Edwards chips it back towards centre wing. Here's McLeod. He's been sensational. Off he goes to Goodwin. In towards centre half forward. Towards Nigel Smart. Bounces straight up. Leaves the path for Bond. Oh! Playing 
for pride now, the Saints. Jones at about 50. Caven there, low, and Pittman on a boundary throw. Free kick rider coming back to low. I thought Jarman might have got six, but 18 goals, only an optimist would have thought that. Low Louts is back, might have kicked it, I think. It's a goal. Low gets his second. We're inside the last minute of what has been a magnificent grand final. The kick to centre wing. Everybody's tired. Bond breaks a tackle. Caught by Daniels. Taken by Rintoul. Hart has to wait. Taps it cleverly to Goodwin, who kicks cleverly to Caven, who's away again. Kicks inside the smart. He's got him. The pros are full of running. There's an empty goal square. He's going to take his time and savour the moment to put the icing on the cake. And it will be the sweetest taste of all. 50 metres out. Good kick. It's close. He has done it. What a fairy tale ending for the Adelaide Crows. If they need it any more, they've done a lot in the last quarter. So there's nothing left now but to celebrate.